Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess of Body Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're talking about how to manifest I literally get this question all the time. In fact, that's kind of what's inspiring me doing this video for you guys right now. You see me succeeding, you see me doing well, and you also see me guiding my clients and them hitting the mark every single time. And basically what I wanna do is make sure that you're able to hit the mark as well. So if you wanna make money and if you wanna manifest money in your life, there are a few things that work for me. So let's go ahead and dive into the details and I'm gonna give it to you good and I'm gonna give it all to you starting now. So if you wanna manifest money in your life, one of the things that works for me always, all the time, and all of these steps work, but this is one of my first things that I go to is I do work with a money oil. For those of you guys that don't know, I do have a special blend that it is that I've created and I've seen work time and time again for me when it comes to manifesting a specific amount and also amounts that continue to support me throughout my journey. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what you're asking for later on in this video, but for right now, I wanna focus on the oil. I have a video where I go into details on how to use that oil. Basically, what you do is you use the oil to anoint yourself every day, to anoint your wallet, to anoint your palms when you're shaking hands with people or when you're writing your intentions, or you can use it to anoint your petition paper. You can also use it to anoint your candle. And pretty much what it is is every herb is ruled by a planet, believe it or not, and the energy of that planet lends its strengths to whatever it is that you're working to create and to manifest within your life when you're working with that herb. So when you put several different components and energies into one oil, you let it sit, you let it marinate, you watch what's going on in the planets whenever, whoever is creating that oil. In this case, I create my own oils and I offer those things for my clients and my shop and the apothecary. There's a very special moment in time or times where you should create money oils. For some people, it could be on Fridays, but everyone is different. I have been guided not to share my own methods. This this video is not about how I make my oils and what I'm putting into them. It's about oil specifically, so you might find that you're working with another money oil. I've been working with mine in order to create the abundance that's around me now, in order to secure the, the abundance that, that is around me now in my business and also in my personal life and in my savings account and all of those things. It's the oils, it's the oils that it is that I'm working with and it's a combination of herbs, specific herbs that it is I'm using, the combination of the herbs that it is I'm using, why I'm using them, the intent that goes into the oil and the placement of the planets as that oil is being created and the three day time span that it is using, sitting, absorbing that energy. It can be anywhere between three days to three weeks of charge time for that money oil, depending. Sometimes it's not about the time. Now hear me out because some people will fight me on this, but sometimes it's not just the time. So sometimes we think, okay, this oil's been sitting for three weeks that makes it more potent. It's about the intention, what's going on in the planets. There are definitely times in the chart where, and in our lives where astrologically, it is prime time to make that oil and you can do it in overnight. You can make that oil in one night and it will have the same punch as something that's been sitting for three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, a year, three years, and, and so on. And there are oils that have been sitting marinating for years that I have within my own apothecary, within my own sacred space. But those are for a separate occasion and it's also for a separate video. So I do use those oils to anoint um, areas of my body to allow me to receive that abundance. Also, it gives me clarity. I put it on my in my workspace as I'm working. I use it when I'm about to make um, contractual agreements where I'm shaking hands with people. I put it on my petition paper. I use it to seal my petition and to anoint my altar. I use it on my candles where I put a drip of that oil on the candle. You can use any type of candle. You guys have heard me say this before when I was talking about candle magic video, if you want me to talk about that. I have a video that I made about candle magic, working with candle magic, my way of working with candle magic. I believe that you can work with any type of candle, but there's different types of candles that you can choose to work with, and I break it down for you in that video. So um, basically the easiest way to work with the oil is to use it to anoint the candle and then date your intention and then to burn it and to watch how the candle moves, how the flame moves as you're setting the intention, as you're visualizing what it is that you're trying to attract and bring into your life. It's using the magic of the oil, the properties of that oil to anoint the candle and make that candle more magical, to infuse it with your intention and to bring that energy into your life. It's very important that if you do decide to work with oils that you're being very mindful about 
who it is that you're getting this oil from because again it's all about intention and who's creating that so if they don't want you to succeed or if they don't have the research to support what is it they're doing then you will find that you might attract money if it does work you will attract money but it'll be in like little bursts where you'll get like a thousand dollars ten thousand twenty thousand but it'll never be more than that or it will burn out, you know what I mean? So it doesn't really create longevity. That's something that when I'm working my oils, I make sure that my clients are in it for the long haul, that it's not just this one moment, that it continues to support them, and that's why they succeed in the way that it is that they do, and that's why I succeed in the way that I do. So another way to manifest money into your life is to actually write a petition, and this is when you're working directly with your spirit guides, your ancestors, the divine, the universe, whoever, in order to call in a specific amount that it is that you want to receive, and if it's not a specific amount, then it's a lifestyle that is a, that you want to live, and you need to be very detailed about that, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So when you are working with your petition, I want you guys to be very clear about what it is that you're setting intention for. Basically what a petition is, it's a letter to the universe stating that this is what it is that I want to manifest within my life and be very specific and detailed with it. You write down the time, the date, your name, and then actually write down, okay, this is what it is that I'm manifesting. This is what I am. This is what my life looks like. This is what is going to be coming in. This is what I'm asking for. These are my requests and you put them in first person and you make it as if it's now, as if it's already been something that you've secured and you have seen already happening here at the very bottom. You sign it and say, you know what, thank you so much for everything, all of my blessings, all of what you have already done, all of what you're doing and all of what you will do. And then sign your name using one of my favorite things, and you guys know this if you're a part of the Body Vibe Chat and if you've been subscribing to my YouTube channel for a minute, a Sharpie pen. I am obsessed with these pens, you guys. It is permanent. It is endless. And when you sign that petition, there's, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's pretty much like, for me at least, it's concrete. It's like, you can't erase it. <laughs> like, there's no turning back. That's why you really want to know exactly what it is that you're manifesting and also realize that it's okay and good for you to ask for abundance and for you to be provided for on a financial level. Don't look at it and be like, oh, I'm being greedy or money is bad. No. If you use that money for bad, then yes, money is bad. But definitely ask and state what it is that you want and be specific about it, which leads me to my next thing, which is be very clear about what it is that you're asking for. And I'm going to break it down for you in just a second. My battery's about to die. Okay, so we are back. And the next thing that is that I want to talk to you guys about is being very specific about what it is that you're setting intention for. So people will be like, oh no, I don't have any problems with this. And then they don't even realize that that is their greatest problem. So they'll take this all this time, they'll get candles, they'll invest in the oils, they'll take this time out, they'll wait for the perfect placement of the, of the planets and then go ahead and be like, okay, I'm going to write down my petition, I'm going to do these things, I'm going to do it at my altar, this is going to be so special, this is going to be so meaningful. And then two weeks later, a day later, or three weeks or whatever, I'm going to receive all of this abundance that it is that I've been seeking, right? And then time, time goes on and then they're like, okay, wait, crickets, nothing is happening. And then I get an email or a comment or a DM being like, Jess, it didn't work. It's not the magic that's failing, it's you. And hear me out before you guys get offended and try to drag me on the internet or on Twitter <laughs> or wherever. It's not the magic that's failing, it's your intention. Now, when I say to be specific about what it is that you're asking for, you really truly have to be specific. There's too many people that are saying, okay, well, I put out a petition for abundance. Well, what does that even mean? Abundance can mean an abundance of so many different things. Could it be an abundance of stress? Can it be an abundance of emptiness? Can it be an abundance of debt? Can it be an abundance of fruit flies in your kitchen? Like, what is it? So you don't want to automatically assume that the universe knows exactly what it is that you're talking about because if you're being so general, then I'm really questioning if you even know exactly what it is that you want. If you want to receive abundance and if you want to live a certain lifestyle, if you want to receive a lot of money, then ask for those things to help you to you know, support the lifestyle or what it is that you actually want for yourself. If you want to make $1,500,000 a year every year for the next 10 years, doing what it is that you love, working for yourself, or Bahati Life, or, you know, selling cookies. Oh, a, a, a chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie important to me too. Yeah, I mean, whole lot to me, important. Then write that down because that's specifically what it is that you want and you want it now. If you want to travel the world and have it completely expenses paid for and you don't have to put out any 
amount of money toward that and everybody's feeling like paying for your travels and asking you to take pictures of wherever it is that you're going and that's a level that you see as successful and as an abundant and giving to you in the lifestyle that is that you want for yourself put that on paper do you see how specific that is you can go even further and be and say this is where i'm traveling this is where i'm going this these are the spots that is that i'm hitting this company reaches out to me or these companies that are known for this reach out to me to take pictures to film and as i'm doing this it fuels my youtube my youtube is making thirty uh three thousand dollars a year four thousand or six thousand dollars um, not a year, I'm sorry, a month, $6,000 a month. So be specific on exactly what is that you want. I can't tell you how many people will be like, okay, well, I want $5,000. I want $5,000 in, in my bank account. So they put it out there and they will get it in little tiny chunks and spend it before they see the actual amount as a whole. You have to understand that the universe works with energy and energy finds all the ways that it can in order to manifest itself in the way that you will be open to receiving it. So <clears throat> if it's not in one lump sum, meaning like a $5,000 check, then you will get it in different smaller amounts and different um, things of value that are worth that, but you wouldn't even recognize it. So at the end of the, the point where you start getting frustrated and you're like, I give up, it's not going to work. And then thinking like, okay, fingers crossed, hopefully now me giving up means that now it's going to manifest and then you get frustrated because it doesn't. It's, you need to be very specific on exactly what it is that you're asking for so that you can confirm it when it actually does happen because it is manifesting in your life. It's just finding different ways to show up and be present and known. So I just gave you guys a few examples of how to manifest money within your life. One of my favorite examples is the first time that I really started working with the laws of attraction and also manifesting and conjuring, working with intention oils, is I asked for $10,000. To me, I was like, there is no way in hell that that is going to happen. If you guys see me smacking my mouth, it's because I'm eating chocolate cake because that is also something that I have petitioned for <laughs> that I would be able to enjoy this time and have desserts and, and you know enjoy my work but also my breaks and this is one of those things but anyways so I was thinking in my head like there is no way in hell that $10,000 is going to manifest itself into my life but I wrote my petition I used my oils I put it in a letter I sealed it up I put it in my altar and I walked away and I tell you guys it must have been two to three weeks later, in a very short time, it was under three weeks, I got a letter, I was in college at the time, I got a letter, a phone call, no, I got an email from the admissions department or from financial aid department, and they're like, hey, is this Jess? And I'm like, yeah, what's that? And they were like, um, listen, there was an issue with your financial aid. We have a check here for $9,995 or $97. Can you come and pick it up? Um, you know, do with it what you will. You can use it to apply back to your loans or whatever, whatever the case is. But this check is here for you. And I was like, like, are you kidding me? This is exactly, it wasn't exactly $10,000. It was right underneath that. But literally that was all that I needed to see. And as I'm saying that, there's a bunch of seagulls flying by in a squad fighting over what looks like a cookie. A chocolate chip cookie, important. Yeah, like that was pretty much all I needed to confirm that there was definitely something here that was too real, too specific. And from that moment on, I was like, this is how I'm going to manifest everything moving forward. And that is exactly why I am where I am today. My growth of my YouTube channel has all been natural. The growth of my Instagram has been natural and organic. The growth of my business and the quality of the things that it is that I was able to access, the, the links that I was able to make, to collaborate with people that had the highest quality of ingredients that no one else has access to. All of those links were things that I set intention for because I wanted to offer the best to my clients and I wanted to give the best to myself when it comes to manifesting and setting intention and working my magic in all areas of my life. And I never wanna take short shortcuts, you guys. I never want to take the easy way out, especially as a Virgo, you guys know this. We're very particular about what it is that we work with and we only use the finest of ingredients. And it was really hard for me to have access to that but I put the petition out there I used my oils I, I was specific about exactly who I wanted to collaborate collaborate with what I wanted the quality that I wanted to provide and I also was very specific about the clientele that would be able to work with it and that they would be able to respect it that it wasn't just me being like the next Walmart or Target kind of churning out things that weren't of value and substance I wanted to be something that was real and that could really support people no matter how big everything got and I wanted that growth to be organic all of these things again where I was very specific about as I'm telling you guys this you can get a sense and a feel for the level 
level of detail but as I'm saying that don't don't overly add details to it to the point where you don't allow the universe to surprise you there have also been many times specifically with relationships and like travel where I had my eyes set on one thing and exactly what is that I asked for manifested but it came in a different package it was presented in, in an interesting way that I wouldn't have even thought to consider to put on my list but because I kind of leave a little flexibility I stay open with the manifestation process don't feel as though you have to get it right the first time when things start manifesting in your life you can change your mind you can switch it up you can write a new petition it's okay to abandon the other one it's okay to burn the other one it just kind of comes into another form as you release it so don't feel like if you set this intention if you put this petition out there that it's do or die or that you're signing you know you're making a deal with the devil so to speak you can definitely change it as you grow and as you evolve and if you are not evolving and if you're not growing and if your intentions aren't changing then you pretty much are staying in the status quo and in a state of you know being stagnant and that's not what anybody wants for your life definitely not so that is pretty much how you manifest um, money that's how you manifest abundance but be specific about the type of abundance that is that you're trying to magnetize into your life you guys because what does that even mean I'm very curious in hearing how does this resonate with you does it feel good to you do you have conflicting feelings when it comes to you receiving abundance and you receiving money because there's a lot of people that have issues with um, asking for things but then even more so when it comes to receiving them are you comfortable are you scared to ask for more for your life what are you also specifically manifesting working on manifesting right now also realize that this tribe that is that we have here the Bahati vibe tribe is something that's very sacred and special I have worked spells and rituals to protect our tribe and our community despite the numbers we have a very exclusive um, safe group here I don't know if you guys have noticed that but it's always been in love and light and positivity and very much protected so knowing that you can also write down your own petitions down in the comments and share them and that the more that you put the energy into it the more that we build each other up and we support it working to help you to manifest that and I'm more than happy to light candles on my altar for you this is something that I do for myself to help you to magnetize your personal wishes to you and kind of alleviate any obstacles and challenges that are preventing you from receiving the wealth the money the security the life that it is that you truly deserve okay so make sure that you are subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's plenty more videos where this came from. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.